Hi, this is Anita with YOH Crochet Yarn Over Hook. And today, there is no yarn. There is no crochet. Today, you, if you want, you don't have to watch, but if you want to, you get to watch Miko open his puff box. Okay. Miko, what's this? Come up. Come up here. So, puff box is designed specifically for puppies and they send you age appropriate you put in how old your puppy is and you send in age appropriate or they, they'll send you age appropriate toys and treats and, and then they give you a little card what's in there huh and they give you a little sheet um with training tips and what you should be working on with your puppy and in there. You don't want that paper. You don't want the candy. Uh, uh, don't help yourself. You wait. 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 So yeah, here's a, here's the uh, little sheet with training tips and it has the back side. Oh. And it just says is my baby still a baby? Oh. Blah, blah, blah. Growth and development. He's 10 months. So growth and de development begins to slow around the 10 to 12 month mark. I was talking about mental and emotional development and new experiences and tips to keep your pup active. <laughs> what? You got weight? And puppy sleeping patterns. And in the back. Oh, it's telling your puppy how to spin on command, which Miko does not know how to do yet. He knows lots of things, but we never did spin. We're, we're, he's impatient, so we'll put the card down. Yes, we'll put the card down. What you want? Okay, we have. Oh, that's cute. Nope, nope. Get out of there. We gotta take. We gotta take all these things off so you don't choke. And this isn't for you anyway. This is a treat pouch. A treat pouch. Let's see. Just wait. Hey, hey, hey. Wait. Wait. Yeah, I don't know. This is supposed to be said as a treat pouch, but it's crinkly like a toy. I'm not sure what that's about. We're not going to give that to you yet. And here is a little penguin toy. It has a squeaker. Do you want him? Do you want him? Go ahead and get him. Get it. Are you smelling it first? Get him. Bite it. You weirdo. You just want the food that's in there? You don't want him? Here. He's weird. And then we got... What is this? <gasps> I have been wanting one of these. This is awesome. This is for his collar. I think it's a light. Yeah, see. So I can hook this to his collar at night. He's easy to see when there's lots of snow on the ground, but in the spring and summer when the snow is all gone, he kind of blends in with the shadows when I let him out the back. I have a fenced-in backyard and I let him out the back, but there are low spots in the ground along the fence, and he likes to try to squeeze under the fence, which he can still do. That is not acceptable. And this way I can see what he's doing. That is awesome. So this one's not for you to play with. Where'd you put your toy already? Where'd you put your toy already? I think he already lost his toy. I don't know what he did with it. Okay, so that's great. And then we have a stuffed beef bone with bully stick blend. And that you can have later. Oh, there's your toy. There's your toy. Yes, there it is. There it is. Chase and Chomp. Popsicle suction cup. I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like this before. It says, Jason Chomp suction cup toys are a great way to stimulate your, come on now, dog both mentally and physically. Jason Chomp chew toys help to prevent boredom, reduce stress, and satisfy your dog's chewing urges. So directions, er, insert small pieces of food or treats through the holes in the popsicle. Firmly attach su suction cup to any clean, flat surface and let your dog try to remove the pieces. Keep suction cup clean and reapply as needed. So, 
you put, oh, I see. So there's little holes. There's little holes in there, see? And you're supposed to put treats and stuff in there. And then you're supposed to suction this so it stands upright. And then your dog tries to get, that's kind of cool. Sorry, that's not really something you can run around with right now either. Um, there's a little invoice. I guess this is a toy. Okay, well, it said sweet pouch on it. I'm confused. Do you want this one? You got a speaker in there. He just shoves at it with his nose. He doesn't pick, put it in his mouth. He just nushes at it with his nose. He's weird. Yeah, you're weird. You're weird. What are you doing? Grab it. Play. No, he's like, Mom, I want the food. I want the treat. Okay, so this is... Um, lamb and liver protein meat topper. Use our lamb and liver as a topper for your dog's food or serve as a treat or reward. There's nothing else in there, baby. Um, so, treats. I suppose we can open it and let you try one. You've got so many treats open already, though. Hey, 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 hey. Back off. I know, it's so exciting, isn't it? Ooh, those are big. You want one? I think, it looks like they're freeze-dried. Okay, you gotta work for it, though, baby. You gotta work for it. Come here. Can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? Hi. Hug. Come on, hug. No, that's not what I want. Hug. Hug. Give me a hug. Yes. Yes, thank you. There you go. Okay, well, that's all for Miko's Pop Box. You know, I keep thinking I'm going to cancel this just because I need to cut down on some of my expenses. But then I see them, and I think this thing is pretty cool. And that light, I'm very happy with the light. So they usually send you, like, something like this, like um, an accessory, like a light, a leash. Um, one time I got... Um, cleaning drops for his teeth, and then they usually send you two to three toys, and they always send you, like, a longer-lasting chew like this, and this we're going to save, because he's got a bunch of things like this out already, we'll just wait till he goes through some of it, and then they always send you a bag of treats, so yeah, I think it's like two, $26, maybe a little bit more, I don't remember, actually it probably says on here, no, it doesn't say in here. Yeah, so that's all I've got for today. Um, have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.